it's Ashley from Demystifying Your Health. Thank you for joining me today. In this episode, we're going to be talking about dizziness. One day, you're sitting on the couch watching TV when you get thirsty. So you get up to go to the sink to get a drink of water, and when you stand up, all of a sudden you get dizzy. What caused this to happen? What exactly is dizziness? How is it treated? And can you prevent it? Dizziness is a very broad term that people use to describe different feelings, such as feeling lightheaded, faint, unsteady, weak, woozy, or losing their balance. It might feel like you or your surroundings are moving or spinning when they're actually not. And it can occur at any time, such as while you're walking, or if you change positions, such as when you go from a lying or sitting position to a standing position. And usually it occurs suddenly, for no apparent reason. However, there's actually a lot of causes of dizziness. So when it comes to dizziness, there's a wide variety of causes, but the most common reason is because there's something that distorts your sense of balance. And your sense of balance is based off of three things. It's based off the input from your eyes, the input from your sensory nerves, and the input from your inner ear. And the most common reason there's a distortion is that the signal from your inner ear doesn't match the signal from your eyes and your sensory nerves. A condition that can cause uh, dizziness is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Vertigo is another name for dizziness, and that's abbreviated as BPPV. And this is the most common cause of vertigo. And it's the result of rapid movement in your head. So if you turn your head suddenly, you might have this type of dizziness. Uh, Meniere's disease is another type of disease where you have excessive fluid buildup in your inner ear. This can actually cause obviously dizziness, but you might have hearing loss. You could have like a ringing sensation sound in your ear, and you might feel like your ears are plugged up. Uh, the an example I alluded to in the intro is an example of orthostatic hypotension. And this is a very common thing that happens to a lot of people. If you change positions rapidly from either sitting or laying down and suddenly stand up, your blood pressure drops briefly because of obviously that change in position. And then it corrects itself. But during that brief moment, you can get dizzy, you can um, have tunnel vision and all sorts of other things just because you're basically losing blood flow from your brain because it's just dropped out of there. Um, and then once your blood pressure corrects itself, that goes away. So this one usually doesn't last that long, but it can be a little bit disconcerting if you're not expecting it. And then there's certain medical conditions that can cause dizziness as well, such as Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, anxiety disorders, anemia, low blood sugar, dehydration, and even migraines can result in dizziness. And then dizziness can be a side effect of certain medications. And this is important to know, obviously, if you're taking medications to find out what the side effects are. So that way, if you are dizzy, you know it could be from that. So with dizziness, it doesn't usually require treatment. This is because your body's going to adjust to the cause within the first few weeks, and then those episodes are going to subside. If it doesn't go away though, you do need to see your doctor to determine what the cause is, because it could be something like anemia, which isn't going to necessarily correct itself. Um, the key thing with dizziness is to reduce any chances of falling. So you want to avoid moving suddenly. You want to sit or lie down immediately if you start feeling dizzy. You want to remove any objects from your home that are tripping hazards. Another good thing is using a walker or a cane, because this is going to give you added stability and something to hold on to. Obviously avoid operating any motor vehicles, heavy machinery, anything like that, if, especially if your dizziness comes on suddenly and you definitely don't know the cause. And then if you're concerned about your medications being the possible reason for your dizziness, definitely talk to your doctor about changing these to see if maybe that will help improve your symptoms. When it comes to preventing dizziness, this can actually be incredibly challenging because if you don't know the cause, then you don't know how to prevent it. But there are some general tips that you can follow. The first and most important is drinking plenty of water so that way you're hydrated. The next is eating a healthy diet. You want to limit the amount of caffeine, alcohol, and salt in your diet because these all affect blood pressure and other body processes that can affect your dizziness. Getting adequate amount of sleep is key. And then not using tobacco products or smoking is also key because this also affects your blood pressure. And you want to reduce the amount of stress that you're under. 
because obviously if you're stressed, you're more likely to have anxiety and this obviously can cause dizziness. And on a side note, if you have dizziness and it's accompanied by chest pain, shortness of breath, slurred speech, confusion, numbness to any part of your body, or any other symptoms that are a cause for concern, you definitely want to seek treatment at the nearest emergency room because this is an indication that there's actually something incredibly wrong that's above and beyond just dizziness. Dizziness is not something that you want to have, and it can be a little disconcerting at first when you have it. The good news is it should go away on its own, and if not, with the proper treatment. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below. I'd appreciate if you'd like and share this uh, video. Subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Stay healthy.